Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. It seems like we're starting off our adventure again, but that's not true. We've actually completed the main part of the game now, so we can actually come back into our room after you've defeated the Elite Four. Now, um, yeah, unlike Shiny Gold, my save state is actually correct this time, which is kind of weird. I don't even know why I'm checking this PC. It's kind of like nostalgia. You want to go check and get your potion from the beginning, but no. Um, the main difference, like, right from the start is your dad is in here. I mean... Yeah, he's a gem leader. He's actually got some time off to come visit his family. That's kind of weird, but... Yeah, you come and he gives you an SS ticket. Now, the SS ticket, basically, is your pathway to get to the Battle Frontier, which is pretty awesome. And, of course, he's a busy guy, so he has to go back to Petalburg. And then your mom just comes, whatever. I mean, it's not that important, so... Oh, what's this? Breaking news story! We bring you this emergency news flash. In various Hoenn locations, there have been reports of a bzzz colored Pokemon. Really, a buzzed color Pokemon. A bzzz color. I, I've never heard of that color, but sure. And your mother is going to ask you if it was red or blue. Basically, guys, you should know what this is. You click red, you get a Latios roaming around, and you get blue, and you get a Latios. Latios, I mean, it, it it's a lot harder to catch, I think, but it is the better... I, I would say it's a better Pokemon, I mean... It's Uber, and Latias is like, what? I don't, I don't know. I, I'm i really not sure about the whole ladder thing nowadays, but I know that Latios is still Uber. I don't know if Latias is still OU or whatever, but I don't know. The ladders change around way too much for me to keep track of it. Anyway, after you come out of your house, Professor Birch will come back, and he'll tell you about some other region Pokemon. And he upgrades your Pokedex to the national modes. So, he takes away your Pokedex, oh noes. And he puts him into his super awesome, or super special awesome machine. I'm going to go ahead and super speed a bit of that, because it's not really that important. But he does give you the National Pokedex. And then he goes ahead and tells you that even though you're now the champion, your Pokemon journey is not over. And indeed it, is, it isn't. So I guess today I'll take the episode to like explain a couple of things that there are left to do here in the Hoenn region. Um, I don't have my flying slave, so I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, what's this? It's Scott, of course! He's boarding the SS title to the Battle Frontier. Yeah, and that's one thing that I... I don't know, I'll, I'll explain in a second, guys. Alright, so, during the Pokemon Emerald post-game, which is what it's officially called, I mean, after you've been Delete Ford, it, it's called post-game. And wow, I still haven't correctly changed this. Yeah, back from the first episode, I still have everything set to be the... The original Pokemon I wanted to catch. It's kind of funny that I have I still haven't changed that. But anyway, yeah. Um, after what is it? Yeah, the Emerald Post game. I'm gonna be covering exploring the Battle Frontier. I'm not gonna be facing the brains or anything, but I will be covering like um, how to get there and some of the special events you can do there. However, I won't be fighting the Frontier brains or anything, just because with my team that's probably gonna be extremely difficult. So, yeah. Um, the Battle Frontier is actually somewhere around here. I think it's this island right here, so we'll be going there. Um, I will be covering the Legendary Pokemon, and I, I I forgot. All right, the Legendary Pokemon, the Battle Frontier, and the rematches with the Gym Leaders. Yeah, I'll be covering those too, so I guess first of all, I would want to ch challenge, or what is it, the Legendaries. I mean, you have to unlock them, so I guess for today, not really too great of a deal, but I will be unlocking the Legendaries. Um... I think I'll be covering the Reggies as well, so we're going to have, uh, off screen, I'm going to have to catch myself a couple of Pokemon. Uh, but for now, we can just go over here. And I, I'm not sure if you can do this before you go to the Battle Frontier. I mean, it's, I'm really not sure. I'll probably be going to Battle Frontier next episode. Um, you can go ahead and talk to this guy. He tracks weather patterns all over Hoenn. He tells you there's heavy rainfall in Route 127. Now, that guy, he can either tell you there's heavy rainfall or a drought. If he tells you there's heavy rainfall, Heavy rainfall, it means you can find Kyogre in the route that he said, in my case, is Route 127. If he says there's a drought, it means you can find Groudon in whatever route he says. So, that's basically, you don't really need to unlock them, but to know where they are, you basically go to that guy and he tells you. Now, today isn't really going to be a very productive episode, and I don't even know when this is going to be uploaded, frankly, because my internet is down currently when I'm recording this. Um, so, eventually I will upload it, I'm not sure when. Hopefully by, I don't know. But anyway, um, for Rayquaza, I think you can actually just get him right from the start, or like right after beating the uh, the Elite Four. 
You can actually go catch Rayquaza if you guys don't know where he is. He's right here in the spare pillar. I don't even know why I flew here, but yeah. And as for the Reggies, you just kind of have to have a Waylord and a Relicanth in your party. And do a couple of events um, to a route to the to the left of Pacifilog. So we're going to be doing that some other time. For now, we're not going to challenge the Elite Four again. There's actually a battle that I want to cover. After you've beaten the Elite Four, you can actually battle Wally again. So, I guess I'll go kick his butt one more time. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to beat him one more time. Um, Wally is just... Uh, it, it's humiliating how bad Wally is. And I'm not even going to use the, the whole audio thing. He's right here. Back where he was in Ruby and Sapphire, you actually fought him over here once. And now you can have a rematch with him right here. He's still got... Um, oh, gosh. Alright, I think this thing is Dragon-type, so... I mean, whatever. Anyway, let's just make quick work of Wally. I would put the sound on, but really, I just want to make quick work of him. And because Livewire has been, like, way too overused in the Elite Four, I'm just going to go for Rickroll for once. I mean, I haven't really used him too much. And, of course, low is my attack, which is really bad. Eh, but still. Oh, of course. Cute charm thing. And Sneezy is my only girl. I'll go in for her and go for a slash. All right. Nice job. Um... Yeah, seriously, Rickroll or a Livewire was way, like, seriously overused in the Elite Four. I mean, look at that. He's level 57. Everyone is below 55, except for him. So, I don't know. He was just, like, really overused. And I c didn't get a chance to read that, but hey, Roselia, yeah. That's really tough to beat. Seriously, like I mentioned once, I think the last time I fought Wally, Roselia was nothing until it got Roserade. Well, it was kind of good, I mean, in this game, I don't know. If you know how to train it and stuff, and know what moves to give it. And Wally is actually using full restores now, which is kind of good. I don't know. Uh, goes for a double team, but Aerial Ace... Oh, really? Wow, this guy is actually a bit tougher now. Goes for another future sight, but he goes down. Alright. And I'm surprised Pico actually took that down. I thought he would die for some reason. So after you defeat Wally, he doesn't even tell you anything. He's like, yeah, one of these days, one of these days... Except, not really. And here's an annoying Whismur, not as cool as Rickroll. Um, I guess that's pretty much it for today. Uh, oh, I don't have my Flying Slave yet again. And let me super speed just a bit. Alright, so one thing that you guys all want to know about is my next uh, run-through. Since Emerald, it's basically just the, the post-game left. Um, I'm going to do more than one Gym Leader a day, probably. So, it won't really take that long to do all of them. I would say I've got like... 10 episodes of Emerald left, maybe 5, I don't even know, it, it won't be that much. But I'll do all the uh, Legendaries in one day, all the Battle Frontier in one day, which is probably tomorrow. And all the Gym Leaders will probably take like 2 or 3 days, so I would say around 5 to 7 days to beat this game. So, yeah, today, I, I guess that's it for today, guys. I really didn't do too much, but I did fight Wally, and I explained a bit of stuff about what's going to be going on sooner or later. And one thing I didn't mention, from the very beginning... Um, you saw that we, uh, activated the whole Latios thing. For Latios, he's actually just roaming around Hoenn. I mean, he could be anywhere for that fact, or, uh, as a matter of fact. And, uh, now that I remember, there's one more thing that we can do today, and that's the Safari Zone. I mentioned that after the Elite Four, there's a little, there's a whole new area that you can explore, so... I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that, but, yeah, that's basically what's gonna be going on in Emerald for the rest of the episodes. Um... So yeah, Latios is just roaming around. If you're lucky enough to find him, I mean, in this generation, you don't have the whole uh, Poketch, so you can't really see where he is, like in Platinum and Diamond and Pearl, so, yeah. As you can see, the guards are gone, and there's this whole new area. There's a lot of Hoenn or Johto Pokemon in here. Uh, you can find Apom, Stantlers, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I think Merrills, and I don't know. I think Merrills are always in this game, but whatever. Things like Mareep. Yes, you can find Mareeps. And I don't even want to catch it, but sure. I'm just demonstrating for you guys what it is you can do here. And I think some of these people actually gives you other stuff, like TMs, and there might be hidden items, there might be, like, regular items around here, I don't know. That seems like a hidden item spot, but probably not. I mean, it's just a random block placed there for no reason. And there's an item, and I don't have Waterfall with me, so I'm gonna go up and cheat my way around. So yeah, I don't know. That, I guess that's it, guys. Um... Let me go ahead and get that item, and next episode, we will probably be exploring, or heading over to the Battle Frontier. Um, as I said before, I'm not going to be challenging the Frontier Brains, but there are a couple of events that I want to do there. 
just for the sake of the run through. And I actually managed to ca catch myself a Mary. That what is this? Like my tenth Pokemon in this run? I don't know. I haven't caught that many things. And here's a whole other area. You can kind of, you can get some Shuckles in here actually if you want those for your Pokedex or whatever. Um, we're running out of time, so I guess that's it for today, guys. I'll try and find whatever whatever other items are hiding around here. And, um, oh, there's, there's one, and I completely missed it, so. Next episode, we'll be heading to the Battle Frontier. See you guys next time. I got the item. Yeah. What is it? Come on. Nugget. I got it. See you guys next time. For real this time. Yeah.